Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're out on the runway again with another identical PX2. Uh, Valentina's at the controls and today she's going to be going for a crude uh, atmosphere altitude record. Um, so we actually get to lay this thing flat out and see what it will do in some actual speed. Uh, I have made one small change to the aircraft, and that is the inclusion of a drogue chute. Oh, I fired those way too soon. Yes, all the explosions. Uh, okay, we just gotta get clear of that light. I don't think we're getting off the runway before we hit the end here, and hopefully we won't lose the landing gear in the process. Whew, alright, we're airborne. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have included a rear-mounted drogue chute to uh, ensure that Val is able to return safely from hopefully going high enough to where these uh, control services will have absolutely no effect whatsoever. But, uh, you know, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to get her out to range and up to altitude. Uh, a big part of this is using our pigeon uh, powered by these four Derwent 5s to get her at a suitable altitude to start her speed run and her altitude run. So I will see you guys at range. All right, we're going to call this at range. Uh, we've got a pretty good altitude on us, 13.3 kilometers. And we'll go ahead and start to make our about face. Slowly but surely. Uh, the pigeon just does not act very well at these high altitudes. <laughs> it was really designed entirely to get the actual the, the PX2 just off the runway. Taking it so far up was really never in its design specification. I guess the engineers left a lot to be desired, but we have just, in like a day, we will unlock mature supersonic flight, and you can bet you will be seeing some upgrades to this design, possibly an entirely new design. Because uh, there's a contract out there for X-Plane Suborbital to take something to 180 kilometers, which we certainly just don't really have the technology to do yet. This is kind of our pinnacle at the moment. Alright, we've got some speed we can shed off as far as this pigeon, and we're going to use it to gain some altitude. Uh, slowly... But if we can... the higher we can get our starting altitude, in general, the better off we will be for making this run. But we are coming up on our at altitude stall speed here. So, in three, two, one, and we're away. Yeah. Pigeon did not tumble end over end as I would have expected it to. If it had parachutes, it surely would be recoverable. And now Val's going to try to angle this thing as far up as she can before smashing through the sound barrier. Boom. In a second or two, that shockwave will hit the waters. All right. 20 kilometers and counting, 500 meters per second. Six hundred meters per second. 
Uh, we're going to be way off target as far as getting back to the runway. It may be too late to make any changes to really help that. Far exceeding Mach 2, 800 meters per second now, 34 kilometers. Uh, we're starting to pitch off a bit. Val has decided to throttle back to try to keep things under control. Thousand meters per second, eleven hundred meters per second. Still climbing. Uh, losing pitch authority here. Uh, still a little fuel left in the tanks. Sixty-three kilometers altitude reached so far. What is going to be her? Achieved apoapsis of 113, and there's still some fuel in the tank. If she can just get it pointing in the right direction. Well, we have already fulfilled the contract, which will be down here. Reach 85 kilometers of the crewed vessel. We still have to land or splash down. I've got this other contract that, uh, an episode, maybe two episodes away. It's another one of those in between speed things. You know how much I love those. Val just trying to squeeze every little inch out of this thing. That may be all of her ignitions. No, nope, one left. You gotta burn all of it, Val. And that's all she wrote. Which is good for a altitude record of 122.8 kilometers. Way to go, Val. And she'll be doing so soaring directly over mission control. And as the Earth rotates underneath her, it may just be a quick turn to the south as far as getting her home. We are still going to try to get her onto a runway landing. But we'll have to see how all of that goes. And in the meantime, we're going to arm our drogue chutes. And... On a hope and a prayer that they will be enough to slow her down to keep this aircraft from breaking up on its acceleration back towards the ground. She has a long, long way to fall. And her descent has started in earnest now. Yep, we already got all of the crew reports from stuff like this. So thankfully, Val, you won't have to worry about checking in. Although any kind of uncontrolled spin like this has got to be massively uncomfortable. And she is coming in on her first drogue chute deployment. These are upgraded Kevlar chutes. But I worry since they, uh... I had to shrink that down to conform with the lines of the aircraft that maybe they'll be too small to have any real effect oh, and it looks like we've got some kind of control back onto the there's enough air flowing across the wings now 1400 meters per second Oh, the drug shoot primary has broken off. Oh no. Val is finding herself in a bouncing 15G spin. Oh, this can't be good. Shedding speed like crazy. Whew. The secondary drogues have deployed and they are itty bitty. <laughs> Val trying to go under the loop here. And 
And best as we can tell, those shoots have really done their job. They snapped her out of that spin. She cuts them free. It's kind of a long glide scope home. Not to be outdone and in a super well engineered aircraft. Uh, we're going to try for it. Because, you know, why not? All right. Got a good. It's about a five degree glide scope. And this thing really has no problem keeping up the speed. And if all else fails, we got three landing gears and three parachutes. Jesus. This thing could probably glide back from the other end of Florida. At least from that kind of altitude. If we were able to control that descent phase... Yeah, still 230 meters per second. We can... Try to put some of that in the bank for later. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impatient, so sorry about all the bouncing in and out of time warps. Yeah, we're a bit north of the runway, I guess. But we need to be able to bleed off a lot of the speed. Yeah, it looks like we left some crap on the runway. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, guys. Alright, get your wheels down, Val. Make it over the bump. I was hoping a long, low final approach here would help get rid of some of this speed. Because, well. <laughs> Runway doesn't react well to coming in quickly. Bounce. Forgot the brakes. We're going to have to go around again. Damn it, Val. Yeah, even 130 was too fast. That's crazy. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Too fast to make that first that first landing. Too slow to turn around. Val throws out the chutes. Jesus. 2.4 meters per second. Sticks it. 
only uh, 1.8 kilometers from where she was. Not the greatest landing, but hey, uh, she's alive. Never forget that. And contract completed. I guess we have to recover. Nope. Oh, boom. There it is. Pay me. Didn't even cover the cost of the aircraft. But fun times nonetheless. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, I will see you next time.